face. How has that not gone in? Oh, there, I thought it was there. So did Judd. I don't think there's any way out here. He's going to have to play an aggressive shot, maybe a long plant or the long pot that's into the right hand top pocket as we look. We can get on the pink or black from that. Well, you could possibly move the red off the corner with another red, but uh, the problem is that red on the centre pocket all the time. If he doesn't get the cue ball to the right hand side of the table, he'll be leaving it on. I mean, the cut down the cushion, the one that's nearest the middle pocket on the left hand side, he, he could play that red onto the other red and still get a good white. But he is in trouble here. He's looking at the shot now. But he's really got to get into the cue ball to miss the cannon on the blue and green when he plays this shot because he's going to have to get loads of stun and side or screw and side to miss that blue and green. I think he's going to have to play this long pot in this right-hand corner. Stephen Andrew used to say, if I lost the frame through playing a safety shot rather than a pot, I'd never forgive myself. Can he miss the blue and green? Well, fabulous. You can't take your hat off him. It was always going to be difficult to miss the blue and green. One. But luckily for him, it went in. Yes, he had to cut the red quite thin, didn't he, to uh, get to that angle. That's why he uh, caught the blue and green. Doesn't matter if the red goes in, though. This is the first time for the last four or five frames we've had everything in open play. Look at the balls now. Five. What a time this would be to make a sizable break. If this, was, if this was early in the match, you'd be saying he <coughs> should win the frame from here where the balls are, but at this stage, with the pressure that's on, anything's missable. A little bit of noise in the crowd behind Neil there. He jumped above the shot, but no problem. At the moment, he's just invested in these small colours, waiting to get up to the big stuff, pink and black. That is 17 in the previous frame. He'll be feeling very confident. Hold on a minute. 12. Oh, he's just about OK. It looked difficult to make a mess of that shot, didn't it? But he has. He's hampered queuing. Got to miss the kiss on the brown. Thirteen. Now, one good positional shot. He needs to get up on these reds and blacks.
Joe Tramp hasn't potted a ball now for over 26 minutes. That's a long time out there. When you get in the business end of the match. Just having a look whether that pink pots, if it doesn't, is in trouble because he can't. There may be a slight chance of getting the gap through those reds to get onto the black, but the pink is very close to being potable. I think it may pot. Who needs to pot this and cannon on the red to the left of it? And now he 16. has a chance. A big chance. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. He looked for an opportunity then to uh, play Ringer on the black, but he prefers the pink, obviously. He would like to have been an inch or two further down the table with the cue ball. Towards us, really. He, uh, he's OK. He's not too thin to hold the cue ball, but it makes things a little more difficult. Twenty-nine. See, just one good pot away from being in perfect position. Now he's got a chance as long as he's not straight, he's on the Three. black. It's good to see him walking around the table quicker when he's making breaks. I think it's it suits his style more, though he's taking longer on the safety <coughs> shots, which you can understand, but keeping a nice rhythm. Just can't get pinpoint at the moment, can he? It's been hard work for 38. I don't know what the colour sequence has been, but it's been a few low ones. There you can see yellows, greens, browns, blues. No, no blues, no blues, pinks and black, everything but a blue. Well, this could be good. Red at the uh, top of the pack there's available. What a, lovely shot what a fabulous shot, Terry. Got a perfect shot. angle, hasn't he, to get onto the black. Wonderful shot. Deserves what he gets from this now. And hopefully, if he does go on to win the frame, it would be his under the century. Perfectly played. Fifty two. What kind of angle does he have on this red? Can he pop the red and flick another red into play? I think he can, Terry, you know, he could bring another three reds into play here. And now then, now then, the 100th century is a definite possibility. A little bit careful. 
jealous there. Didn't quite get the desired 60. angle, but it's OK. You can run through for the black still. 61. The difficult red on the side cushion is the one that's going to be a real big problem. And to make the 100, he will need four reds and four blacks, won't he? So it all depends on what he does with these next four reds. Because that red to get onto any other colour could be a problem. Oh, well, now you've won the frame, Neil. Come on, you deserve the 100 centuries. Yes, we would have be a monkey off his back, or would it uh, affect him for the next few frames? Hard to say, really. <coughs> 76. I mean, Judge Trump's looking a bit forlorn now. He's lost the last three frames on the trot, and he hasn't done an awful lot wrong. He's just lost the safety battles. You know, it's not he's been missing pots or anything like that. Just wonder whether he'll risk getting on the difficult red now. There's your answer. He's risked it. Takes the pink, he's going to need the yellow to make this entry. Eighty five. Fifteen points from here. to get perfect on this red. I'd rather him play for a bought colour here, I really would make the, the hundred of certainty. Get a nice angle. He has a nice angle. Surely now he's going to get it. Two pots from an unbelievable record that might 96. never, ever get beaten again. Come on, well, at least I'm going to have the honour to be the first to congratulate him if this green goes in. Great.